Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've uh, posted up a video, so I decided to give you guys an update on uh, what's been happening with my life and uh, my training. So the past week I've been uh, on vacation in the States to visit my family, so I haven't been able to train at all. And so basically I just uh, enjoyed my time down there with my family and relatives and got to eat a lot of food so basically I didn't uh, keep track of any of my macros and so I basically uh, put on a few pounds when I came back up into Vancouver. So uh, back to my training, um, ever since the powerlifting meet I decided to make the switch over to uh, low bar squats and so I'm fairly new to it because for most of my lifting career I've been doing high bar squats, so it's just a little bit um, different for me. So I feel like there's a lot of improvement for me in this movement because, as you can see here, my elbows are shooting up pretty high. And I've also been having a hard time finding the right grip for this movement. I've been playing around with just uh, narrowing my grip and widening my grip, and I've been uh, told to. I uh, have my thumbs wrapped around the bar instead and I've found it to be um, more beneficial for me and so I'm going to stick to that but I feel like there's a lot of flexibility that I could work on and just a lot of mobilization that needs to be done especially in my thoracic region. Personally I like the high bar squats more than low bar squats and I think it's due to just the flexibility issue but I'm going to dedicate myself to uh, this style of squatting f up until the next meet and uh, we'll see if there is a significant change in my uh, numbers. So I'm going to dedicate myself for uh, about 11 weeks because that's when my next meet will be coming up. I've already planned out to compete in the UBC meet in September. So let's talk a bit about what my plan is for this training cycle. I've decided to uh, stick with auto-regulating my uh, training and I've decided to adopt the block periodization method of uh, training. So I'll be having a hypertrophy week followed by a moderate intensity week and a higher intensity week. And I'll be cycling that through uh, about three times and then uh, tapering down into the meat. So each day will consist of two of the three main lifts and if I'm feeling really good that week I'll add in another day where I focus on accessory work so mainly the shoulders, back and any other muscles that are needed to just uh, build a balanced body for, uh, for myself. So let's go over my workout session for uh, today. So I am in my hypertrophy week, so I'm trying to target the higher rep ranges. So I started this day off with some low bar squats and I performed four sets of eight. And I'm just really focusing on hitting depth and uh, getting comfortable with the entire movement. So I was trying to target uh, RPE of around eight to 8.5. So I was able to do so and uh, after that, I moved over to the bench press and uh, did some speed work. So I feel like this uh, method of bench pressing has been quite beneficial. It has increased my bench in the previous meet, so I'm going to do this again. And uh, hopefully it will uh, produce the same results for me in the next meet. And so after these sets, I moved back to the squat rack to do some high bar squats just to uh, make sure I'm targeting the other muscles in the leg and making sure I'm not, uh, you know, like losing the movement pattern. And it's kind of funny because when I went back to these uh, high bar squats, I was feeling quite uncoordinated and uh, I almost tipped forward in uh, one of my sets. And so it's just... Um, matter of getting the movement down and uh, just getting a lot of practice. So that's pretty much it for this workout and on another note my hamstrings have been feeling a lot better 
I would say it's about 90 or 95 percent so I'm pretty hopeful about going back into the deadlifts and uh, hopefully hitting uh, 500 or even more by the next meet. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more to come. Please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and all that good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time.